Yes, welcome back to the channel. Hope each and every single one of you are doing well. Before we get into today's video, go down, drop a like, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. But more importantly, drop a comment. I'm very interested to hear your guys' thoughts. I'll try and reply to as many comments as I can. The title of this video is Football is Ruined. Now, in the last few years, technology has become a massive, massive part of football. Cast your mind back to when goal line technology come through. Now we've had VAR. And now we're introducing blue cards. Yes, you heard that right. Football set to hand referees blue cards. The first new color in, into the game since 1970 when yellow cards and red cards were first introduced at the 1970 World Cup. The new Simbin protocols, when we will get onto that, will be tested in the FA Cup and Women's FA Cup matches. And that is coming out from the Daily Mail. It's a simple game. But when you look at the Premier League and you look at VAR in general, every single week, there is a decision that becomes a massive talking point. Whether it's the referee has messed up, the linesman has messed up, the people in VAR have messed up. There's always a talking point. And those talking points are great because we get to chat about them, give our opinions. Fans get it becomes a very heated debate between your friends, the pundits. Everyone talks about those decisions. But when you look at the Premier League in general, the Premier League probably have some of the worst referees across Europe and the world. Every single week in the Premier League, there is a decision which practically overrides a lot of the game. Man City won because of VAR. Arsenal won because of VAR. Tottenham won because the VAR didn't give a red card. Whatever the decision is, it becomes so big that we forget about the rest of the game. And now we're going to introduce blue cards. Now, sin bins are in other sports. Rugby, for instance, you have 15 players on each team. If you get a yellow card, you automatically have to have a 10-minute sin bin. That is my understanding. In terms of football, how are the sin bins going to work? Is it going to be a yellow card? Is it going to be a red card? It, it orders you to have a sin bin. The revolutionary move will announce by International Footballing Association Board on Friday as new measures that will see players banned from play for 10 minutes if they commit a cynical foul or show disintent towards a match official. That is what the Daily Mail are saying. The new protocols will add a new wrinkle to dismiss all players who would have been sent off if they received two blue cards. So there's going to be different combination of cards. You could get a blue card and a yellow card and have a sin bin. You could get two blue cards and have a sin bin. You could get a yellow card, then a second yellow card, and potentially have a sin bin. Or you can get a red card and you are sent off. Why are we overcomplicating such a simple, simple game? It's one of the easiest games there is. 10 players on each side. You win by kicking the ball over the line of the opposition. Now we've got stats galore, field tilt, expected press. And like I said, I get that because these football clubs spend millions and millions of pounds on data. But why are we bringing in sin mins? I don't see how this is going to help football. Because, for instance, if you get two blue cards, I can't believe I'm even talking about that. There's always It's always going to be subjective and opinionated. Who gets to decide who, whether it's two blue cards or a yellow and a blue card or two yellow cards? And that is going to be the officials. So we are still going to have teething problems. Plus, it's then going to slow the game down because you're going to have more VAR checks than ever. For instance, VAR are going to be looking at whether it's two blue cards two yellow cards, a straight red, a blue and a yellow, a yellow and a blue, a blue and a red, a red and a blue, whatever combination it's going to be, 
VAR will be checking out. And this season, there has been so many blue, uh, not blue cards, so many instances where it should have been a red card and it hasn't, or a goal should have counted. If you cast your mind back to when Tottenham played Liverpool, Diego Jota's goal, which was a massive VAR error. It was a huge, huge error. VAR then come out with audio identifying that they've made a mistake. Does that mean the Premier League, La Liga, the FA Cup, whichever competition, whether it's the Euros in the summer, adopt this? If it's only adopted in one country and not another, does that mean it can't be played in European competitions? For instance, the Champions League, the Europa League, the Conference League. Does that mean it can't be played in, in Euros or the World Cup or Copa America or the Asian Cup or AFCON? There's a, it's, it's once again adding, it's like having a, a cheeseburger, right? And you've got the meat and the cheese and the bun. Perfect. When you start adding in mayo, ketchup, pickles, ham, whatever, whatever you choose. Or for instance, if you like to drink your favorite drink and people start mixing it with this and that or throwing in too much ice, just keep things simple. And I don't understand why we feel the need to bring in Simbins. It's going to slow the game down, sending the player off. Where's the Simbin area going to be? Is it going to be to a, is it going to be a little square at the side of the pitch? You know, there's more and more rules and legislations coming in every single season. You know, and, and normally it's England that are the last ones to do it. And the Premier League is one of the most competitive league there is. For instance, the German League, La Liga, the French League and Serie A adopted five substitutions 18 months before England did, before it happened to the Premier League. If other leagues, I, I believe big football leagues, whether the era, the VC, MLS, La Liga, Premier League, the FA Cup, whatever competition it will be, will adopt this before the Premier League. I just don't see this working at any point. Rugby is a lot slower game than football. Rugby, you, you crash into each other, then you have a scrum, then it's slowed down. Football is end-to-end. -end. It's a fast-paced sport. One minute you could have a corner where you're about to score, the next minute you've been countered and the other team's going to score. Like, the referees now are becoming the stars of the shows. You think back to Mike Dean where he had to be involved and he loved it, and credit where credit's due because he was a good referee, but he loved being involved. Is this just giving referees more power? At times, a lot of referees can't control a game as it is. You know, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. For me, I don't, I, I'm, I'm not a fan of this. It's a simple game that is being complicated by, by certain people that feel the need to add in certain rules. You know, when you score a goal, sometimes you've got to wait three, four minutes from VAR. If a player makes a dodgy tackle, which could either be a red card or a blue card, does that mean it's going to take three or four minutes? Let me know down below. Make sure you drop a comment. I think it's a very interesting topic to talk about. And I can't believe that we actually could be bringing in blue, yellow, blue cards. Why is it not even orange? At least... Meat in the middle, but blue cards? It doesn't sit right with me. I, I don't really understand it. You know, women's FA Cup matches may be included in trials with the FA reportedly considering volunteering next season's competition for testing. The International Football Association Board has signed off on trials of new protocols that will hand greater power to officials to clamp down on any cynical fouls and dissent. The blue card will be limited to fouls that preventing a promising attack as well as being confirming a red card that should be received as two blues of a combination of a blue and yellow. The new protocol will be limited to instances of dissent towards match officials. So, for instance, if a, if a player gets yellow carded where, for instance, they didn't feel the player didn't feel it was a card, it will now be a blue card. Let me know down below your thoughts on this. I think it's going to cause massive, massive debate across the footballing world. 
wherever you're watching from, let me know. Make sure you do drop a comment. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and like, and I'll see you all soon. Thank you all for watching.